Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Terminal Trouble. Today I can announce it's my second video and I have 23 subscribers. So thanks everybody who subscribed my channel and please for the others if you don't have done that so far please hit and subscribe. Today we will go over the second box of Hack the Box which is ever released. So it's dropped on March 15, 2017 and it's a classic example why you should always keep up your system patched. So we're talking today about the CVE 2008-4250. So let's jump in and hack the machine together. So first, what I always do is set the variable to on, set the IP variable on the machine and also the variable target. This helps on especially on CTFs to move fast forward. We have only one machine on a real penetration test. I would not do that, but here in the CTF environments, it's a fast and efficient way. And always I use Rust scan to get the first and quick response. It's a modern, fast, efficient port scanner. And this is what we will use. So we see there's a couple of ports showing up. And there we see some probably bad thing on Rust scan. Sometimes we need to run it twice to get the full list. Here it missed on the first scan the port 445, but this is definitely running on that machine. The great thing on that machine is today we will use Metasploit framework for exploiting that machine. So we start our, uh, our Metasploit console. And we use the exploit. We can always show the options for that exploit. CVE 2008-4250 arises from the way that server services improperly validates or handle certain fields with RPC requests. By sending a special crafted SMB RPC request to a vulnerable system, an attacker can cause the system to mismanage memory, leading to memory corruption or buffer overflow conditions. Upon successful exploitation, the attacker typically gets system level privileges on the target, effectively full control over the operating system. Because the vulnerability exploitation over the network, attackers only need the ability to send packets to the target SMP service. No authentication required, which makes it a vulnerable vulnerability, means it can self propagate and cross unpatched system in the same network. And then we can set the remote host. This is our machine which we will attack and we set our local host to the interface of uh, the VPN and then we can run the exploit and we see it successfully exploiting the machine so it looked like that it's a Windows XP with service pack 3 and we have sent the payload and the shell is open which is really perfect. And we can now go and uh, take a look which permissions we have, for example. So let's do that together. So we see we have immediately system permi permission, which is great. So we can do whatever we want. So for example, we can get uh, in that case our flag um, because it's a hack the box challenge. See here, 
and then also the root flag. Perfect. So we have sex successfully exploited that machine. We finally did it. The second hack, the box machine is successfully hacked. I'm very excited about my second video and I hope you will enjoy and follow the next videos with me. So please hit and subscribe and I will like to see you in the next videos.